Welcome to the 2020 induction ceremony for the Bell Fountain Chapter of the National Honor Society. The National Honor Society hosts an induction of the newly selected members every year. Now, although it may be a little different this year, thank you for attending tonight and recognizing this honor. Tonight's ceremony serves many purposes. It allows our veteran members to formally welcome our new members and to begin our journey of passing the torch of leadership to them. It gives you, as family, friends, and mentors, an opportunity to celebrate these students' achievements and accomplishments. So, amidst our uncertain times, we will be sure to take this moment to joyfully celebrate and confirm the achievements of the students who have worked so hard up to this point. As a society, we are beyond delighted to have these wonderful new members join us. Four, in this group, there are not only great scholars, but tremendous athletes, talented musicians, and above all, concerned young citizens who choose to use their time to make a positive impact on their community. These accomplishments have earned them the privilege of selection into this club, the National Honor Society. Now and forever, we look forward to working together to demonstrate the values and pillars of this esteemed group. Foremost is honor, the middle name of the society and the way in which we pledge to live our lives. To live our, with honor is to live a life full of respect for others and oneself, striving to always give their utmost effort in everything they do. These students have proven they can live with honor and will be sure to do so moving forward. As such, we could not be happier to welcome them into our club. Welcome and thank you for taking time out of your quarantine schedule to support your children in the, Nat in the Bell Fountain High School chapter of the National Honor Society induction. When the National Honor Society was established in 1921, the hope was to create an organization that would recognize and encourage academic achievement while also developing other characteristics essential to citizens in a democracy. The National Honor Society has become a prestigious organization with more than 12,500 chapters in all of the 50 United States of America, Puerto Rico, and Washington, DC, ranking high among administrators, faculty members, students, parents, and residents of the school community. Its reputation for excellence is the result of years of commitment on the part of everyone involved. Through the National Honor Society chapter service activities, members maintain and extend the qualities that won them selection. Membership is thus both an honor and a commitment. The National Honor Society is the leader among educational organizations and societies that promote recognition for students who reflect outstanding accomplishments in the areas of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Membership in the National Honor Society is a privilege. The Honor Society members exhibit excellence in academics and leadership, honorable and admirable character, and demonstrate a commitment to service all of which indicate that a member is willing to use personal talents and skills for the improvement of both self and society. The selection process is a rigorous one with an application submitted with other requisites, an essay, two letters of recommendation, and documented service hours. The faculty took their time in considering each of the students here tonight for membership, and the faculty council took on the task of reading those essays and letters and deciding for each student here virtually that their membership into the Bell Fountain chapter of the National Honor Society. Their decisions were made based upon the four pillars of the National Honor Society, service, scholarship, leadership, and character. It is at this time that we proclaim to all watching this video right now that membership in the Bell Fountain chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the society. The 2019-2020 officers will now light the candles representing these pillars. Davis Norris, our treasurer, will light the candle of scholarship. Hi, my name is Davis and I'm the treasurer of NHS and my pillar is scholarship. Scholarship means a commitment to learning, 
whether that be in the classroom or in our current situation at home on a computer. We have all been faced with a challenge we never imagined. Nonetheless, scholarship encourages us to be thorough and accurate. We cannot stop learning after we turn off the computer for the day, but instead we must continue growing our knowledge to prepare for the day when life returns to normal. Knowledge is what sets us apart. It leads a person to success. All of our candidates have learned to social distance, only go outside if it is essential, and in my case, try and learn how to longboard. The knowledge we have gained during these uncertain times have changed our perspectives on life, and that is the greatest knowledge we can possess. Thank you and welcome to NHS. So as Vice President, I thought it'd be important for me to share with you guys the unfortunate part of COVID-19 taking a toll on us all, but the human sacrifice portion of the NHS ritual had to be canceled due to social distancing. With that being said, I hope that our chapter can continue that great tradition in years to come and maybe even next year, hopefully. On to my speech. This is the candle of service. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefits of those in need, without monetary compensation or recognition. The quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. As Winston Churchill once said, We make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Another great quote, Everybody can be great because anybody can serve. You do not have to have a college degree to serve. You only need a heart of grace, a soul generated by love, by Martin Luther King Jr. So then, let us all live a life full of service. Do not follow where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Muriel Strode said these words in reference to the pillar called leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school in taking the initiative in your class and school activities. The real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interest and betterment of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a substantive charge to each of our members. John C. Maxwell stated that leadership is not about titles, positions, or flowcharts. It's about one's life influencing another. Being the leader of our school, community, and future world, we have to, the chance to do amazing tasks to touch the lives of others. Being a leader allows you to leave a lasting mark, your legacy. New inductees, I challenge you to stand out, be a leader, make a difference, and stand proud of who you are as a member of National Honor Society. Character is the real foundation for all worthwhile success, a quote from John Hayes Haymond. Anyone can say they are successful, but if they don't have good character, they have never been successful. Character shows who you are as a person because good character is achieved, not received. It is a product of consistently taking action for the goodness of others. Wealth, fame, and power are temporary. Character lasts forever. Something that lasts forever is built from striving for high ideals, honesty in daily life, and demonstrating a good moral compass. One who has good character should possess qualities of respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, and care for others. To be a person with those qualities, you are more successful than many because your character is present in everything you do. Your good character got you to this place in your life and there's no telling where it can take you from here. Your constant value for your character is why you're becoming a member of the National Honor Society. Congratulations, inductees and parents. Your good character has brought you much success and it will continue to in the future. Next, Dr. Nath has a message to share with all the inductees. Good morning, Chiefs. Coming to you live from the Rock in Chieftain Nation, one of my favorite places to be. Congratulations, NHS. Uh, what a tremendous honor you have had and congratulations on the accomplishments throughout your career and, and being awarded to the National Honor Society. We're really proud of you um, and we're very excited for you. National Honor Society is a huge honor. Um, by now you probably know some of the pillars, obviously scholarship, service, character, and leadership. You certainly exemplify all of those. 
Um, and that is a wonderful um, tribute to you. Uh, that also comes with a huge responsibility too. And I wanna talk to you today a little bit about and challenge you even about that responsibility. You know, if you set goals in those four pillars um, in your life, you're gonna do very well generally down the road. Even if you weren't in NHS, if you had goals in service, leadership, character, scholarship, that would be a tremendous um, story for you to tell. So I wanted to challenge you today to do just that. You know, there's a song um, by Casting Crowns called Life Song. And I think about that every day. It challenges people, it challenges me in particular every day um, to think about what my life song is. What life song am I singing? Am I singing a life song of service? Am I singing a life song of character, um, of scholarship, of leadership? I wanna challenge you to do so. I think um, you, you have a great reward coming your way, but also a great responsibility to make the world just a little bit better because you are here. Um, so today, congratulations on your NHS induction. And I just wanted to leave you with a couple of thoughts like that and just think, have you think about what your life song is singing. Um, you know it's always a great day to be a chieftain. Congratulations. We're very proud of you. Have an awesome end to your year. Go Chiefs. I would like to now introduce our speaker for the 2020 induction ceremony, Addie Pissarro. Addie Pissarro graduated from Bell Fountain High School in 2009. She pursued a bachelor's degree in athletic training from Otterbein University. After graduating from Otterbein in 2013, she returned to Bell Fountain and worked as the athletic trainer for Bell Fountain High School. Knowing she wanted to further her education, she moved to Syracuse, New York in 2014 to pursue a master's degree in exercise science. During her two years at Syracuse University, she worked as an athletic trainer in addition to her coursework. In 2016, she graduated with a Master's of Science in Exercise Science and once again returned to Logan County to work as an athletic trainer, this time for Benjamin Logan High School. While working at Ben Logan, she discovered yoga. A friend invited her to a class in Columbus. She attended and instantly became hooked. As her love for yoga grew, she noticed that her hometown was desperately in need of some kind of space. In 2017, the idea for homegrown yoga was founded. In April of 2018, the idea transformed into a reality. Addie completed her 200 hour yoga training at B Power Yoga in Columbus, Ohio. Following the completion of the program, she immersed herself into several other trainings. She is also certified to teach aerial yoga, paddleboard yoga, and yoga sculpt. She is currently in her 300-hour advanced yoga teacher training at Yoga on High in Columbus, Ohio. She loves making yoga accessible to everyone. Without further ado, here is Addie Pissarro. Hello, NHS inductees and family. I'm Addie Pissarro, owner of Homegrown Yoga in downtown Bell Fountain, former NHS member, and a 2009 graduate of Bell Fountain High School. Congratulations to the inductees and your family. This is a huge honor and your hard work has paid off tremendously. It feels like just yesterday, although it was 11 years ago, that I was sitting in Mr. Brown's class getting tapped myself for NHS. My family was there to greet me and it was a joyous occasion. Although your induction and your tapping looks a little different, it's still extremely special and you're surrounded by those who have loved, supported, and encouraged you along the way. So a huge kudos, a huge congratulations to you all. You all are in such an exciting place in your life. So many opportunities and experiences are waiting for you. I want you to take a moment, maybe you close the eyes or just soften your gaze, and I want you to visualize where you see yourself, maybe a year from now. Maybe five years from now. Or maybe 10 years from now. Visualizing what life looks like for you. Maybe noticing what job it is that you go to each day. And getting as specific to notice colors, any certain scents 
sense or sensations. Allowing yourself to get as detailed with this as possible. start to see where you are maybe a year, five years, or ten years from now, what feelings do you feel? Do you notice a sense of happiness or joy or maybe excitement? Or maybe something else comes up, such as judgment or hesitation or worry. But notice where you are and notice how you feel. as you're ready, start to flutter the eyes open. I hope you all visualized a place in which you really want to be in. A place where you truly see yourself. A place that makes you so happy. But now, how do you get there? You've in some way created a vision or a goal in your mind, but action must happen in order to get there. How will you accomplish that thing that you want most, that thing that brings you joy, that thing that brings you happiness? What are your steps to get there? And if you notice once you're there, that it's not quite what you wanted? Will you have the strength to find something else? When I was in your place, I thought I had everything perfectly mapped out uh, for my life and how I wanted things to look. I had decided I was going to go to medical school, become a sports orthopedic doctor, and then join the Peace Corps. My plan shifted more than I could have ever imagined. And it shifted because I really took time to think about why I was doing what I was doing. Was I passionate about what I was doing? And how was fear limiting my choices and my, my decisions towards what I wanted to do most? So my advice to you all, figure out your why. As my mom has told me, your why should make you cry. So when thinking about what it is you want to do, what's your why behind that? My why has always been to help other people and to allow people to find the, the best version of themselves. And I did that through athletic training, but there were pieces of the athletic training that didn't quite fit in with other parts of what I wanted. So that leads to the next piece. Are you passionate about what you do? So with teaching yoga, I have my why of helping other people, of letting people realize the best version of themselves. And it's something that I'm passionate about. So I didn't find my passion in life until I was 26 years old. When I went to a yoga class with some friends, I was hesitant, but I took class and I left feeling like a new person. Like my eyes were completely wide open after leaving this class and it became the thing I had to do every day. It was a passion of mine and learning more about it and wanting to share it with other people became a part of my why. So to get to here, there was a lot of fear, which is point three, fear. Opening a business, walking away from a career that I had been a part of for five years, and the unknown. The unknown is always present, but I came back to my why, and yes, my why to this day still makes me cry. 
I knew it was something I was truly passionate about. This love for yoga and sharing it with others was what I wanted to do. And there was fear present, but the fear that presented itself wasn't telling me to run because there was a tiger there. It was telling me, hey, th these are uncharted waters. Proceed with caution, wear your life vest, and as long as you stay true to who you are, as long as you're continuing to move through this because it's something you're passionate about and it's something you love doing, it's probably going to be okay. So, and it is okay. So I encourage you all to figure out your why, to find that thing that you're passionate about most, and to sit with fear and maybe get a little bit comfortable with it because fear is always going to be present in every decision we make and in life. And it's either going to be the thing that pushes us most outside of our comfort zone or the thing that holds us back. I hope for you it's the thing that pushes you to try new things and to experience all that life has to offer. Although my path didn't quite end up from what I envisioned as my 17 year old self, I got to the place where I was meant to be and it came with action, it came with my why, with being passionate and facing fear. So NHS inductees, congratulations. You have exhibited so many amazing qualities. That is why you're being inducted today. And I have no doubt in my mind that you will continue to exude all of these amazing qualities. Remember to stay true to yourself, to do the thing that makes you most happy, and to be kind to everyone. Congratulations. I hope to connect with you all sometime in the future and feel free to reach out to me at any point in time. Have a lovely induction. I will now formally induct our newest members. Um, I will read through all of the members who will be inducted into the National Honor Society today. Um, when we return to school in the fall, I will have you sign our chapter book and um, after this video, you will uh, go to the Google form and accept the Pledge of Membership. So, the 2020 inductees into the Bell Fountain Chapter of the National Honor Society are Carly Augustus Olivia Eder Lauren Easton Lily Evans Brandon Gamble Addie Hankins, Anastasia Hyatt, Levon Howard, Caitlin Hutchins, Abby Kite, Gracie Middle, Brooke Miranda, Evan Kaufman, Riley Myers, Ben Parsons, Kayla Plumer, Connor Rose, Jacob Shell. Anthony Snap, Samantha Starkey, Sarah Starkey, Madison Taylor, Meng Wang, and Micah Wolf. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. At this time, I would like to congratulate all of our new inductees for the Bell Fountain chapter of the National Honor Society. Thank you all for attending our virtual NHS induction ceremony. Um, a few reminders of upcoming events. Your membership will become official when you accept the NHS pledge online. Please see your information letter or your program on the back of it for the link. Uh, I know it's kind of inconvenient because you can't just click it, but it's short. I used a short URL. Um, if you could follow that to the Google form and fill that out, um, accepting the pledge and then filling out your contact information for me. 
Um, with everything being very up in the air right now, we don't have any events scheduled, but as soon as this changes, I will reach out to you with information. So please make sure that the information that you're providing on the Google form is accurate so that I can get in touch with you. Uh, before you sign off, I would just like for you to turn to your inductee again and once again, um, congratulate them for being inducted into the Bill Fountain chapter of the National Honor Society. This is a very prestigious honor and um, I'm very sorry that we weren't able to have an in-person ceremony this year, but that does not take away from your accomplishment and you all are fantastic and I cannot wait to get to work with you this fall. Have a fantastic evening.